is across sewing and vacuum and I'm here today with snippets I'm here to give you a tip and a deal and so this week I was thinking about it and I'm not quite certain where my brain was going but I did come up with a tip that was helpful for me and it is about fabric okay so today we're going to talk about fabric here at is across sewing and vacuum we have a lot a huge uh, collection of pre-cut fabrics jelly rolls layer clakes charm packs and um, they're pretty awesome because you know when the manufacturers put together a collection what they've done is they've gathered a grouping of fabrics that are going to perfectly match when you're making a quilt and that's really awesome when somebody will do all your color matching for you I am NOT a wizard at matching color if you want a wizard at matching color you're going to have to call my sister Colleen in San Diego and um, that's just it because she's the one person I know that is a genius with color matching aside from that they come in these collections right so all the beautiful collections we have here will blend and do beautiful now that's not my tip okay because really I can't give out my sister's phone number so here's my tip I'm going to talk to you about making a scrappy quilt and how do people make it work so that you don't look at a scrappy quilt and wonder to yourself well what were they thinking because th there is a logic to it and the logic I learned from Edita Sitar and so I'm going to tell you what I learned from her and it has been a world of help behind me you see here there's a scrappy quilt and uh, this quilt was not built out of my stash and my goal today is to help you gals get out there do some stash busting and use up some of your fabrics because there is a way to do this and the logic is pretty awesome this quilt was actually produced um, with a block exchange and what happened was I gave in my package the border quilts so the blue the red and the gold and I gave the white sashing in it the little two inch squares I had everybody bust their own stash and fill in those two inch blocks and if you were up close with this quilt you would see there is a myriad of fabrics that are used and in many cases you would never be matching those colors together in a quilt or side by side but it works and let me explain why it works it works because with scrappy quilting if you give yourself a good strong border a good strong sashing it gives your eye a place to land and so your eye focuses on that frame or your um, sashing or your borders because your eye has a place to land but when you're trying to get into your stash and figure out what are those scrappy colors you want to put together there's a tip and let me help you when you're looking at your fabric oh let me grab this one fabric is fabulous it has a salvage this is called your salvage end right here this white strip here and it tells you quite a bit as you read down the salvage the colors that were used and what is the name of this fabric and who created this beautiful um, work of art well it also will tell you what is the base fabric that was used before this was all printed onto the fabric so in this instance we're looking at white right it's white if I come up to this Ruby Star Society fabric if you look at the salvage edge it is not white white it is actually more of an ecru or a beige tone all right so here's going to be the trip the big tip today about scrappy quilting you will go to your stash and you will start pulling fabrics and you will sort the fabrics that started from a like tone you're just going to look at the salvage put the ones that started with white together put the ones that started with ecru together we're going to separate those they should be in different projects right after you're done with that then you start looking at your stash and going let's put together darks mediums and lights i have three going on here and maybe if you were making a quilt you would say I don't know that I would be putting those three fabrics together but let me tell you when you're working on a scrappy quilt it's gonna work it's gonna work so let me show you 
Um, so that is an example right there of a scrappy quilt. And it works because those base fabrics started with the right base color. And then they're just going to blend. And then by giving these solid tones, it gives your eye somewhere to land. When you're choosing your scraps of fabric to use, and you're trying to decide what goes where and how many of this or how many of that, and again with your sashed, like these sashed window panes that I have here, there is a great tip that I picked up from a florist. And that is when you're blending color, work in the rules of three. If you're going to grab a color, make sure you can use it at least three times, right? Because it will keep your eye moving around your project. If you create symmetry, it has the ability for your eye to stop and set onto something. Symmetry will focus you. And to have that odd number of uses of color is going to keep your eye moving, all right? So um, take a look at a floral bouquet sometime and you'll see uh, how they create with flowers and maybe three pops of color. Keep your eye looking at the entire bouquet and not just focusing on one flower or one particular area. That's a great tip for quilting too. That's my tip. This is my deal for today. All right, I got great deals. We have 25% today off of our pre-cuts. And let me tell you, we got some beautiful pre-cuts. Here's a sneak peek of one that just came in. We just put it out today. This is a batik charm pack. It is really beautiful, or layer cake, I apologize. It's a layer cake and it's called the Malibu Boutique and really, really fun bright colors. 25% off pre-cuts through Friday. The other thing I wanna talk about is our books. 25% off our books through Friday. And look at this fun one. This one's called Pillow Talk. So look at all of the opportunities that are given here to do scrappy work, right? Go bust your stash, that's our goal. Let's bust our stash. It is not the secret vault where we hide things. We need to bring it out and use it. That's it. So a lot of opportunities to do this pillow talk. It's awesome. We have a book about potholders. Well, potholders are a great place to bust your stash. That's what we want to do. Okay. There's one other thing we've gotten back in inventory I wanted to tell you about. 25% off. This is a mister. This is a fabulous bottle because a lot of times we will have squirt bottles around the house and they're, uh, they spray quite a heavy amount of water. This is a mister. It is a very fine mist. I use it for my um, starch, you know, my best pressed starch. And I have a bottle that's filled with water. And let's say even in the summer when it's 80 degrees and you're too hot, it's like, la right? Isn't that what you do? You missed and oh, it's wonderful. But in the meantime, you can fill it with your, uh, your best press starch and it will help you misting your fabric instead of getting it wet. Okay. So folks, this has been a lot of fun today. I know my tips have gone really quickly, but that is what I want to let you know. Please give us a call. If you have any questions, come on down and look at our fabrics. And um, for those who have signed up for Sew Time, uh, stay tuned. Our first Sew Time event is coming up shortly in February, and we're starting to send out announcements about that. So look in your email if you've signed up for Sew Time. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you again next week. Maybe I'll even drag Debbie in on this. All right, take care. Bye bye.